Bam, that's my remote hitting. I need my net. I think it's gonna be a nice one, guys. All right, now he's up under the boat. Come on out. Come on. Wow, yeah, that's a nice one. Come on, come on. I ain't gonna believe what I caught him on either. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, what a pig. Oh my gosh. <laughs> About time. I thought that looked like a big one. Uh, get, I'm trying to get my bait because I want y'all to see the bait. This is one of the new glow baits. It's called Lightning Bug. Glows in the dark, guys. I'll show you, I'll tell you more about it in a minute. Oh my gosh, guys. That's a two pounder. Good gosh, look at the belly on him. All right, let me get a picture of this one. <laughs> All right, guys, can y'all see that? Two pounds, two ounces. Two pounds, two ounces. I figured, that's what I figured he weighed. I figured he weighed two pounds. Woohoo! Cut him on this glow bait right here, guys. I'll show you more about that. There you go, buddy. All right, guys, this is the baits. This is the lightning bug, the sub, and the fathead are jellyfish. Now, I'm going to show you when I turn the lights off. Okay, here's the baits with the lights off. All I did was shine on for about 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, with a UV flashlight. All right, guys, sorry, I didn't have my camera on. I just got out here and I didn't cut my camera on, but hey, y'all got to see this. Bam. I know some of you are going like, Dennis, what is so great about that bait? I know some of you are thinking, what is so great about that bait? It's how big that fish is. Wow, it's a big one. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Guys, this is a... This is a glow-in-the-dark UV bait. Uh, I got a flashlight with me. I'll show you what I'm doing. This, that was the first cast with it. <laughs> the first cast with it. Uh, I brought a box with me. I just made these baits. What's today? I made these baits Friday. Today, Saturday. Guys, the water's nasty. Y'all can see the water. Yeah. Visibility is by two inches. I got a video I, I made yesterday. I caught some on pink. Uh, and uh, pink and banana color bait, okay? I'm trying to remember the names of the bait. It's called Hot Chick, all right? And I was stowing Hot Wire, which is Tennessee Shad Pink. Here's what I do. See my light? This is just a regular little LED light, guys. I hold it down in this box and shut the lid and held it for a little bit. I put my bait in there. Guys, about 30 seconds. And it'll last about two or three, four, maybe four or five minutes, maybe up to ten minutes. The more charge you get, they call that they call that charging them. And I'm gonna show you all that in the video. At the end of this video, I'll show you. They call that charging them. Okay. And once you once you do that, the reason I brought a box is I can shut the I can shut the lid and I can look through this little hole right here. And I can see them glowing in there. But I'm gonna show y'all on camera, uh, either at the beginning or the end, how that works. But uh also, I'm going to ride to town this evening. Calling for rain this evening, guys. And the wind's supposed to get up. And the wind's starting to get up now. <laughs> um, also, you can buy a little flashlight that is um, UV light. Now, I know some of y'all that paint, make jigs, you use that rising, you just brush on there, and then you take a little UV light, and you shine it on your cure. You shine it on that glue, the UV glue, to, to cure it. You can use that same light. Mechanics. Mechanics, I learned this yesterday, didn't know, because I've done some research about these baits the last couple of days. You can buy a fluid that you put in your engine to find a leak, and you take your UV light if the engine's running, and you shine it on the engine, and wherever the uh, leak is, it'll show up bright green. You can buy sockets, mechanical sockets, right? One eighth, one half, with a green stripe around them. That stripe will gr glow under a UV light. That's right. If you drop it in the, somewhere, you just cut the lights off at night, you can take a UV light, and you can find it real easy. All right, so 
They were about $20. The flashlights are about $20 at, at uh, different places, different parts stores. It depends on how big one you buy, how long it lasts, if you buy one that recharges, if you buy one that's rechargeable. All that makes a difference. They got them up to, to $100, guys. You can, you, know, you just got to look around. I did that last night. A lot of places have them. A lot of automotive places have them. Lowe's has them. Okay? You can find them places like that. Maybe some of the craft stores. But anyway, that would be a, that would be a better choice because that would charge your uh bait faster now on a bright sunny day you can lay it in the on, on the bash of the boat you know you can lay it back in the sun it's going to charge right uh, i had them in my basement just the lights in my basement and when i cut the lights off at night looked over at them they were just glowing <laughs> they were just glowing up storm so there you go so being that the water was nasty i mean it's nasty look at the trash floating here there's a limb there it's, it, I told y'all we had a, we've had a bunch of rain. You can see the lake is full. It's up, in, up on the bank. As you can see, we've had a bunch of rain. I figured this would have been a good test for them today, so I brought them with me today. Let's see if we catch another one with it. Sometimes you catch one the first cast. They always say that ends it, but uh, you just got to find some that's active. But in the meantime, this past Saturday, I went back to the uh, Home Depot, and I bought this little light. This is a UV light. It was $19.99. It was $20. So what I've done, I'm going to turn y'all down where y'all can see a little bit. What I've done, all right, let's cut my light on. All right, I put it on the medium UV like this, and I held it in my hand. Can y'all see? Yeah. And this is what I've done. And it doesn't take long, okay? And you can control the full strength. You can control, now see this is low. You see, look, on low, you see the beam is not as big, but you, this thing has three different settings on it. And I sit here in my hand, when I've done this just for a little bit, it doesn't take long, okay? And I'm going to show you all that in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you all how, what it looks like in the dark. Now, I made this, I only made this color. This is blue back, and this is green belly. So... You could use it in clear water if you didn't, you know, if you didn't use it for anything else, because it's clear. It's a clear water color, and I didn't put any flake in it. Now I made some in the sub and the fathead mena, and I made them. I put a little color in them. I don't have one laying here. I got one on my rod. I put some uh, one drop of blue in them to make them bluer. So you could use those either way. All right, guys, I'm sticking with this glow bait. <laughs> I cut the camera off. Made two casts, I think. Maybe three. I don't. I didn't count them. A few casts. I said it that way. A few. <laughs> and seen this one out in front of me. He hit. Yeah, he's not as big. He's a nice one though. Hey, once you catch a two pounder, they're all the rest of them are small, right? <laughs> hey, like I said, I get excited catching one that size. It's, that's like a killing an eight point buck to me, or you know, eight ten point buck. That's a nice fish though. I'll take them all day long. He's probably eleven and five eighths. Bam. Whoo. All right. I, I didn't recharge it between that. It holds charge. Now, somebody's going to ask me. I know it's coming. How long will it stay charged? How long will it glow? It'll glow bright for about... Uh, it depends on how long you charge it. Let's put it that way first. The longer you charge it, the longer it will glow, okay? If you, if you charge it for 30, 40 seconds like I just did, it'll stay pretty bright for three to five minutes. And... When it dies down some, and it still glow, it's, it just starts just getting losing some of it. That's not going to hurt it in this watercolor. If it's just a light glow, it's going to help. Actually, we might find it. We might, might find through time, as we fish this bait, that it might get better after it dies a little bit and not quite as you know, glow quite as strong. Now I told you I made them in the uh, sub and the fathead, and I put uh, blue glitter in those and one drop of uh, blue. And what I found out with those is they don't glow as bright, all right? But I wanted, since they're smaller, I want them to have more body color to them. But they're going to be something you can use for a situation like this. Muddy water, nighttime fishing. I hear, I hear a lot of y'all guys mention that. I don't, I've never fished at night, but since I have these baits, I might try it. I made some glow baits years ago. I still have the powder. I think I'm going to trash it now. But... It was powder I bought from another place, and what happened with that powder was it turned everything yellow. 
It glowed good. It might even glow better than this. But it turned all the baits yellow. So I still might play around with it one more time. I might take some leftover plastic that's already yellow and put it in it and see what happens. But it held its color for like a week or two. Then after that, it all turned yellow. Fishing in this color water, it might not, that might not make a difference anyway, right? But the glow powders on dead on come in different colors. And I chose blue and green. Bam. Uh-huh. You, you bit on it, didn't you? <laughs> He's mad. All right, guys. I was fighting this fish. And my battery died. And I, it's my fault. I hadn't checked it. I've came a long ways from the last fish. I was way down the lake. And I came all the way up the trolling motor. I was clean down around that bend down there. That's where I caught the big one. And I thought, I'm going to move up here before I go in. This is why I started with another bait. I'm making my second video today. There it is. <laughs> Headed down in there too, didn't he? That's a nice fish. He had it on down in there. In there. Now, this is a Jenko head. I just had them. I want to use them. I've got about six or eight of them. And I thought, I'm going to use those up. And uh, that's a nice fish. I put, I put that on the other day. That fish is over 11 inches. All right, guys, there you go. This color is called Lightning Bug. Like I said, I'm charging it with a UV flashlight. You can use a regular flashlight and make a box. That's what I done the other day to come out to test them. I made that box and I came out here and uh, just tested them, was playing around with them, and I caught one. I think it was the very first cast with it I caught one. I might stick it on the front. And then I didn't fish, I fished with a few more minutes and the fishing was very tough. And I switched over to uh, the sub. I think it's the day I was using the sub. And I switched over to the sub and grenade bug. And they started catching fish. And you know how that is. Once you start catching fish on the bait, you're not going to go back to something else, right? So, and of course, I'm trying to make a video. So I made a video with the sub, all right? And uh, so I told myself today, I said, you're going to go out today. You're going to use that lightning bug color and try it in this dirty water. And bam, y'all can see it works fine. Again, I've showed you all this during the thing. You can use a, make you a box. You can charge them. I take this little flashlight like this, and I just put it in my hand like this right here, and hold hold it in my hand like that. You see the light shining, and for about 30 seconds. I don't know why I was traveling. Uh, it don't take long, guys. You give it just a little bit like that with this flashlight. It'll last a long time. I have not charged it probably for 10 minutes at least, and uh, I still caught a fish on it. It'll keep a little glow for a long time. It gets dimmer and dimmer now as you go along, right? But it still keeps a little bit for a long time. And it don't take a whole lot. You still got that little bit of glow in this water. It makes a huge difference. They can, they definitely can see it. All right? Appreciate y'all guys fishing Lake Country. They should be on the site by the time y'all see this. They should be on the site. My son's working on it this week. Today's Tuesday. He's working on it this week and getting them on there. So, and it's like again. It's going to be called, it's going to be under glow baits. It'll be the lightning bug. It's the LC shad, the fathead minnow, and the sub. It's going to be called jellyfish. Right. Because I put a touch of blue in them. See, jellyfish has a glow too, right? And uh, I put a touch of blue in them, a little, a little bit of blue glitter. Just try to make them a little different since they're a little smaller. All right. Instead of shooting dual colors. Appreciate y'all guys. See y'all next time. Fishing Lake Country.